Hey everybody, it's Tony George. He's Scott Spreitzer, DocSports.com. How about the big one in the Big East? By the way, there's a lot of big college basketball games this weekend. NASCAR, uh, XFL, Scott, yep. NBA, all kinds of stuff going on over at DocSports.com. Go over and claim that free 60 bucks we'll give you. Give us a sample this weekend. Get ready. He's rolling in college basketball. I'm rolling along in the NBA. We're rolling along in NASCAR. Absolutely. Come over and sample all of it. We'll give you a free 60 bucks by clicking that link in the description below and get yourself hooked up this weekend. Speaking of hooked up, the Creighton Blue Jays are hooked up right now just off a total butt whipping of Georgetown <laughs> on uh, Wednesday night. And of course, uh, Seton Hall lost at home to Villanova in a two point game, a tight one. And of course, Creighton owns, I believe, a win over uh, Seton Hall is a five and a half point road dog here, 87 82 in a high scoring mm -hmm. game, Scott. Here, uh, back on February 8th, and the Creighton Blue Jays have got it dialed in. Matter of fact, they scored 91 points in their last home game. They are really tight in, tight right now. McDermott's doing a great job. There's a lot on the line here for Creighton. Sure. This is one and two in the power rankings in the Big East. And Scott, this is going to be one hell of a ball game in Omaha. It is, and it's uh, it was my hometown team. I mean, yep. I used to go see the Creighton Blue Jays night in, night out. I can go on and on about stories about hanging out at the old Civic Auditorium where they used to play their home games mm -hmm. after games with my buddies when we were, you know, young teenagers mm -hmm. so we could talk to Willis Reed, who used to be the coach of Creighton oh, yeah. for a couple of seasons. Great guy, by the way. Mm -hmm. But I don't handicap with my heart. Having said that, I am leading on the home team here, Tony. Mm -hmm. And I know Seton Hall has a little bit of revenge. They're going to be a little ticked off because they just lost to Villanova, which evened up that season series at one game apiece. Yep. Uh, this one's for all the marbles. The winner of this game wins the Big East regular season. And you mentioned Coach Mick. Man, I'm telling you what, right now for Creighton, they just want to get up and down the court, and they score yep. points. They would rather be a first team to 90 type of game than anything yep. else. And Seton Hall will oblige. I mean, they'll go up and down the court with you also. Uh, that first meeting, as Tony mentioned, Creighton wins 87-82. 23 and oh. a half points over the spread on the easy. total. It was easy. It was easy. I think we're going to see a high-scoring game here again. Why not? Why would you predict a low-scoring game no. between these two teams? If Creighton's on, they got their three-point shooters hitting from the perimeter. They've got a great shot to win this game and do so by seven, eight points. Uh, the one key that Creighton's got to watch out for, that if Seton Hall wins this game, I'll bet you'll see it in the box score, is second-chance putbacks. Yep. For the Pirates. Yeah. Because Creighton is not a big team. Mm -hmm. They can be had on the glass. Mm -hmm. And if Seton Hall is able to get second and third attempts from time to time when they bring the, the ball down floor, uh, Creighton's in a little bit of trouble here. But I think what you're going to see is a typical, for at least this year, Creighton Blue Jay home type of effort. And they're not going to give up a little revenge here to Seton Hall, Tony. I think they're going to go in. I think they're going to get the win. We make the line right now. No line, of course, we're doing this on Thursday afternoon. But I'll tell you what, I power rate on a neutral floor, Seton Hall, about a half point better than Creighton, power rating wise. Mm -hmm. I throw in the uh, difference being the home court advantage, which there's a true home court advantage here. Big and time. I make Creighton a three point favorite. Yeah, I agree with you. And uh, I'm going to be pulling for Creighton personally because yeah, I used to do the Dane Alvin show. There you go. When he was there, when I was at ESPN Alvin. 1480 in Lincoln, Nebraska. Ah. Shout out to my old Chris Schmitty over there, now running Hell Varsity Radio. But nonetheless, here, Scott, what's interest me in this game 23 and a half points over the spread on the total was 145 and a half the last mm. game. Do you think odds makers are going to adjust this up? They better, 150? They better, they they better adjust see? up. I mean, I, I think they're going to get one-sided yeah. action on the total if they don't. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about, again, two teams that will get up and down the floor. I, Seton Hall's not going to try to slow it down. Right. They can play at Creighton's pace. And, you know, Creighton, especially at home, push that ball up the floor, take those shots early mm. in, the, in the play clock. And uh, and push that total, uh, push that score up as high as they can get it. So again, Creighton wants to be first team to 90. Yep. Seton Hall first team to 78. That's what they want to play. Right. I'm not saying the final is going to be 90-78. I don't think it'll be that wide of a margin. Right. But I think there is going to be a lot of scoring in this game. The only way Creighton wins this game is to score 80 plus points Probably. against Seton Hall. And I think if this total, you can get this to come in around 152. Maybe under. I don't know if they're going to have more than a seven-point adjustment. Usually, you don't see that big, no, not that big adjustment. Big. So you're going to probably get this in the high 140s, low 150s. It'll lean on the over there for you as well. As Creighton goes for everything in this game, the Big East title and there. It, and again, it's not. It's not like it's said and done, and we never use the word lock. We nope. never do. Oh, huh. um, and and that's you know this could be one of those situations where with both teams fighting for the Big East title, the number one seed, all that kind of stuff. 
in the upcoming Big East tournament mm -hmm. where you see a little bit more defense and maybe you see a little bit more tightness yep. on the offensive end of things mm -hmm. for both teams. But again, it would be over or nothing when it comes to the total for me. It's kind of like betting New England in the regular season. You're going to take the Patriots or you're not going to pass. Or you, or yeah. you pass. Yeah. That's what you do with Creighton <laughs> and the total there, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to get over to DocSports.com. Claim that free 60 bucks. He's Scott Spritzer. I'm Tony George. Have a great Saturday.